CoVlog 19, day 10. All right, April 2. We have 28 more days of social distancing until further notice. So, of course, it will be longer than that, I'm sure. Oh, what happened today? Well, it was a beautiful day. The sun is currently getting ready for bed. But you can still see it's bright and beautiful. And now that you're blinded, we can continue on. So it was a beautiful day. I was able to work out a little bit and edit a video as well as uh, correspond uh, on some business. And then I went and laid out, even though it was only about 55 degrees, but the sun was intense enough, so I got my tan on. Then I did a pull-up workout then I came back home, and that was the extent of my day. You know, I understand the importance of social distancing. And in fact, as they say, that could be the single most greatest factor to stopping the spread. However, I don't care if you're saving one life or if you're saving a million lives. I don't want those people to die. That's not the point. But the point is, is that there's millions of people that are going to starve to death if we don't go to work. Because there's not enough money in the world. To support people to do nothing. So, I have a real beef with the governor, especially since the construction industry is a booming industry in this state, and the construction industry is such a big industry in this state. Mind you, they're working on roads. That's okay. But we can't work on houses, which, by the way, is also in short supply, especially in West Michigan. I'm not whining, I'm not crying, I'm not complaining. It just is maddening to think that we could just shut down things that are very necessary. With no end in sight as to when we're going to be able to get going again. So let's stop the deaths. Let's work on a cure. Let's work on a vaccine. Let's work on treatment. Let's find out if this hydrochloroquine is actually working. But let's also get back to work. Because starvation can be just as deadly as any coronavirus, bubonic plague, swine flu, Spanish flu, world war. We need to be productive as human beings. We need to be productive as Americans. <clears throat> it's our duty and it's our desire so there's my little rant for today but in the meantime lay low keep your head down get some exercise start a new workout regimen read a book learn something new maybe a language get outside explore we have to trust in the one who's in control of all things right so enjoy it as best you can make the most of it make the best of it so until next time this is covlog 19 day 10 be safe <laughs>